Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Green Hell. And look what I found, guys. Look what I found in the options. A brightness setting. So I'm going to be using that moving forward uh, so everybody can see, whether you're on mobile or whatever. All right, so I've done a lot of work here clearing out this area. I've also, uh, I'm watching these plants grow quite nicely. Someone said in the comments you don't need fertilizer. It just takes a little bit longer without it. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, today we are going to be going to the overturned Jeep location. Um, I will give you the coordinates. I will show you how to get there. Um, the trees are starting to grow back. Can anybody tell me in the comments, can these banana leaves be, be farmed? Because I really want to build my roof out of banana leaves. The problem is, um, the banana leaves I don't think can be farmed. But these Brazilian nut, or not Brazilian nut, these unknown nut trees can. And these things give, um, these things give, uh, these, uh, what are they called? Why can't, there we go. These palm leaves, right? Now the palm leaves make, the palm leaves are what I used over here and they do look pretty good as a roof, but they don't look as good as the banana leaves. Um, so, and I, I really don't want to be mixing and matching my leaves. I'm going to think about it. I might mix and match my leaves. Maybe I'll do the banana leaves on the outside or I don't know. I'm going to kind of have to think about it, but yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about the, the roof situation? Don't forget my, uh, my base is going to be, is going to be pretty large. So I don't want to run out of roof material and have to switch. Although I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. All right, let's see what we need for food and drink. All right, so we're good on drink. We just need a little bit of carbs. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat this right away, but I'm going to bring it on the road with me. And we do have some carbs right here. Yeah, I think we're good to go at this point. Yeah, all right, let's do it. So we're going to save the game. Never leave your home without saving the game. And we're going to be going towards the overturned Jeep. Now, the overturned Jeep location is 44 West. I never say West and South, by the way. Um, just so you know, I don't think you can go North or East. So, uh, the location is 4417. So, if the location is 44, that means we need to make uh, 44 West. That means you need to head East. And South, that means you head uh, Northeast, right? We need the South and the West to go down, which means you head opposite, which is Northeast. I always get confused with the directions in this game. I don't know why. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do we have a spider over here? Or... No, nope, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. All right. Let's just start heading northeast. Oh, boy. The overturned Jeep. Now, this place is going to be a lot harder to get to than the last place I went to. So, we need to be... and we got to watch out for bees because I... I'm not really looking out for bees. And I don't have what I need to um make the lily dressing on me so as a matter of fact i didn't bring any extra millinaria stuff which i probably should have oh god all right i don't like throwing these down out here because i'm gonna lose the dried leaves but i think it'll be okay hey, do you absolutely need dried leaves for every single fire you do or is there a way around that eventually because eventually i'm gonna run out of dry leaves oh that's a pig okay good that sounds like a freaking bear. I don't think there's bears in the Amazon jungle, right? I'm no expert on the Amazon jungle, but I don't think there's bears in the Amazon jungle. At least I hope not. The last thing I need is another thing that's trying to kill me. Uh, so the overturned Jeep is going to give us a couple nice items. It's going to give us the bedone, and it's going to give us the grappling hook. Now, the grappling hook can only be used on certain points, and it's supposed to be like a shortcut thing. But I don't really know the map that well, so I'm not really sure what shortcut spots there would be. Oh, there's a map you can get in the game. Crap, I should look that up. That might be next video. I think it's going to be next video. I totally forgot this. Oh, I think I've gotten the map before. Is the map in this game any good? I kind of feel like I've gotten it before, and I kind of feel like it's it's not good. I, I don't remember. Okay, so what are we doing? 44-17. Okay, so 44-17. I'm not sure if I want to go that way or that way. I think I'm going to go this way. It's kind of a crapshoot either way. Yeah, uh, didn't I get the map? Or I don't know. I might get it, might be getting a confused with another game. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's okay. I'm not going to try and kill you. I need to make some armor at some point, too. Uh, bone armor is pretty dope. Okay, so I think I probably should have gone the other way. Um, yeah, I'm going to go the other way. Pretty sure I should have gone this way. Yeah, I do think this is the right way. Hopefully. We'll see. Can you see the um, spots you, you're supposed to have a grappling hook when you before you have the grappling hook? Now, should I go this way or that way? 
crap. I don't freaking know. Uh, do we want to go more east or north? I think we want to go more north. Although I have no idea. And I find it very hard to do commentary in this game when I'm walking through the jungle. Because talking makes it hard to hear. And, you, I mean, you will, you will hear every single danger in this game before you see it. Every time. So just keep that in mind when playing. Northeast. Still going northeast. Okay. I might actually make... Oh, here we go. I see you. There you go. I might actually make a place to save when I get to the Jeep. I think I usually do. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I believe whenever I go to the Jeep, I make a place to save. Because it is pretty far. So, we will do that today as well. Okay, there you go. Come on, get out of here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's grab some Mullinaria. Mullinaria. I didn't used to know how to say the word, but now I do. All right, we're going to leave it alone for now. If I come across any kind of, um, uh, what are they? Ooh, what is that? Is that just the mice or? Yeah. If I come across it, uh, the... Oh, it's right there. Never mind. I'm going to grab this too. Just in case I get a rash. So now I'm, I'm protected against poison and rash. Is that bees or... I don't think that's bees. Hold on. There we go. Animal droppings. Beautiful. There we go. I got more bandages, bandage leaves and I've also got lily dressings. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this unknown flower because I don't really know if it's good for anything. All right, so where are we headed? Northeast? Yes. Mostly, eh, yeah. No, I think northeast is perfect. Uh, someone else said that those uh, spiders are really good to kill. What you do, and they're totally right. I, I completely forgot about this. But when you see a spider, you kill it. Okay. And then once you've killed it, uh, you put it on a campfire and you let it turn to ash. Once you get the spider turned to ash, you mix it with a bandage and you make the ash bandages. I think... Maybe the honey dressing bandage is better, but yeah, they're definitely one of the best ones in the game. By the way, the overturned Jeep is like on one of these roads, but I'm going to continue heading northeast just because, oh, the road's going northeast. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely on one of these roads, but we're just going to keep, keep heading northeast. We're getting close. We are definitely getting close. And we just got to be careful because got to watch out. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Should I hit him? You see him right there? Yep, there he is. Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Shit. Did I just kill him? Wait, you could one-shot a freaking cougar? Seriously? Oh my god, right in his head. You know, I'm not gonna lie. That was, um, incredibly surprising on multiple levels first of all seeing a cougar during the day i didn't think i'd see a cougar here during the day i really didn't second of all uh, three three reasons second of all surviving a cougar <laughs> it doesn't normally happen okay and third of all uh hold on let me uh oh crap i'm dirty that means i can't eat right now uh all right i'm gonna leave it alone anyway um third of all one shot at him with a crappy spear that's pretty beast, man. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty freaking beast. Now, do I go that way or this way? I think I'm going to go this way. Okay, got to be careful. I can't believe I one-shot him. That's amazing. That, that should have been a death. I should have been dead. Period. All right, we're heading for 4417, so this is definitely the way to go. Oh, I don't recognize this. Huh. I don't recognize this area at all. Look at that. What the hell happened here? Mudslide, maybe? Alright, fair enough. Alright, we're 44, and now we need to head um, north. None of this looks familiar, by the way. <laughs> Which has got me a little bit concerned, but... Ooh, bananas. Can't eat anything because I'm dirty, but that's okay. We're going to have to eat protein pretty... Well, actually, no, we're doing pretty good. Never mind. 
All right, 44, 17. We should be just about there. Do I have the... Oh, hold on. That's not bees, right? I don't see any... Yeah, that's got to be animal poop. Hold on. Where is the animal poop? I can't find it. My head itches. Oh, there we go. Thanks, bro. Keep pooping. Um, I do have the right coordinates, right? 44, 17. Well, not 17 yet. You guys are making me really, really nervous. I'm just saying. You know, first the Jaguar attack. Now you guys are running around like maniacs. Oh, crap. Stay away from that. I don't think there's bees on that tree, but there very well could be. I think if there's bees on it, I would have heard it by now. Uh, oh, here we are. There we are, the overturned Jeep. Yeah. Oh, God, another dead tree. What the hell? I'm just walking past them. They could have bees on them. And here we are at the overturned Jeep, and it is about noon. I might be able to make it home in time, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna risk it. And by the way, there is the spider I was telling you guys about. So we're going to kill him. If you need a spear to kill whatever spider you're going after, you should probably turn around and run. It is the Goliath Bird Eater. Oh, boy. I think that's going to be bad by the time I get home. I was hoping to burn it. I could probably make a campfire here and burn it if I really wanted to. All right. Well, let's go ahead and grab what we came here for. We came here for the grappling hook and, more importantly, the badone. And I can't carry it because, of course, I can't. Um, and I can't eat anything right now because I'm dirty. Can I wash in this sewage? Uh, I can't wash in this sewage? Crap, if I eat anything, then I'm going to go. I'm gonna get sick. Alrighty. So I think what I'll do is... I'll just throw that on the ground. Okay. There we go. And let's grab the chips and the candy bars. And all that good stuff. And the painkillers. Beautiful. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to make a place to save. Well, guys, I didn't plan on making some big crazy thing up here, but I ended up doing that. I made this thing just to save, and then I had a lot of time. So I was like, well, let's start a fire. Why not? Cook up some meat, do something. I don't know. No reason not to, right? So let's go ahead and start a fire. By the way, um, the reason I made this overhang is because it will rain in this game because it is the rainforest. And when it rains, it will indeed put your fire out. So you want to have something over top of it. Or you can make your fires in a cave, which is also a uh, perfectly reasonable thing to do. Um, I've done that before. There's a really cool spot in this game to build that's by a waterfall. It's like a really peaceful spot. As far as I know, like I haven't been there in you know a while. But last time I was there, when I when I, I stayed there for a little bit, there was there's no poisonous anything. There's no jaguars. There's no nothing. Nothing nothing bothers you there. Okay now. You know, take take my word of the grain of salt. I haven't been there in a while, but that's what it was like when I was last there. All right, so let's just start the fire right now. No reason not to, while we still have a bit of stamina. There we go. Actually, that's a nice spot. Let's keep that stuff there. Maybe that's a secret spot that my um my fire starting stuff goes. Come on, come on. There you go. There we go. Beautiful. And I might as well cook the. Oh, you know what? Let's cook the let's cook the spider into ash, and let's also cook the jaguar meat. That will be nice. Yeah. This okay. Yeah. This is this is going okay. Now it is raining, so let's come outside so we can clean ourselves off in the rain so we can eat. Um, I did eat. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys me eating, but I did eat after I after it rained. It rained. My guy got clean, and I ate. Great story, huh? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to uh, get me clean, and then I will go ahead and eat. And, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll just keep gathering stuff in the meantime. I don't really see any reason not to. Um, I think there's some logs. No, I used all the logs. So we're going to chop this down, and we're going we're gonna to harvest the logs for, for uh, big, big sticks. Big sticks. Harvest. And now, boom, we're full of big sticks. And you can harvest the big sticks and the small sticks if you so choose. All right, beautiful. All right, so as you can see right here, we've got the Goliath bird eater cooked. But I think if you cook it again, it'll turn into... I, I don't see it cooking again. Maybe it's got to be on a stronger campfire. Or maybe it just takes a really long time. I'm not really sure. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to eat the damn thing because I'm not freaking nuts. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let it try and cook again. Maybe it just takes a while. You might have to cook this on a specific, you know, stronger, you know, fire. Which, you know, very well might be the case. 
Uh, let's see how good the Jaguar meat is. I'm just curious. Um, yeah, 36. Gives a lot of energy, but not really good on fat. Not great on protein either. But the energy is nice. Could have used that if, uh, if I... Hey, what's up, buddy? Come on. Get warm. I'm not hungry, so you're safe. All right, so I slept through the night. It is now 7 o'clock in the morning. Um... I'll see, I really don't need much food or anything right now. Oh, by the way, I kept that Goliath uh, bird eater on the fire, and it eventually turned into burnt. It went from cooked to burnt. Once it went to burnt, I put it in my inventory, and I right-clicked it, and I went to harvest, and then I harvested it. Now I have Goliath bird eater ash, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these together, and we're going to have Goliath dressing. Now, again, this is a, re this is a really strong uh, dressing. It's a really strong bandage. And it might be the strongest one in the game. The only one that I think might be stronger is the one made out of honey. So, all right. So it is now the morning, and we're all taken care of and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and do this and save the game. And then I'm going to press tilde key. No, tilde key to get rid of that. Sometimes they hit the tilde key instead of Q or 1. And we're going to save one more time for good luck. And then we're going to head back home, which is going to be uh, southwest or west-south, depending on how you read it. So we need to head southwest. So we need to go that way. We need the south number to go up. We need the west number to go up. And we need to get home. Ah, son of a bitch. Almost off to a bad start. I know I don't need to kill him. I'm going to kill him anyway because fuck him. I'm going to grab some of these as well. Now, in order to see the grappling hook like areas, do you have to have the grappling hook in your hand? Or what? I don't think I don't think there's any way to have it in your hand as far as I know. See that looks like a possible grappling hook place, but I guess not. Yeah, supposedly it's supposed to give you um it's supposed to give you a, a good way around uh like where you can do shortcuts and stuff. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I am, but this cliff face here has me a little bit nervous. But oh well I mean I don't know. No, this no, this looks familiar. Southwest, southwest, southwest. This does look familiar. Yep, this is definitely this is the this is the um the mudslide thing I was talking about. Okay, southwest, southwest, Keej. southwest, old Keegee. old Keegee Keej. I am on the um the trail, so that's interesting. The trail kind of like goes under like ground and stuff a little bit and. You know, you can't really see it much. Uh, plus, like, you could take shortcuts. Maybe, I'm pretty sure this trail will take me right back out to my base. Eventually. But you see, I just lost it right there. So I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead southwest. Yep, there it is again. There's the trail. And there goes the trail. Shh. Anytime you see a dead bird, I get nervous there's one of those uh, Goliath bird eaters. What, what a name for a spider. Whoever named that, like, kudos. That's a dope name. Goliath Bird Eaters from Space! Could be like a freaking sci-fi show or something. Okay, Heart of the Palm. Yeah, we'll leave the Heart of the Palm. I don't think we really need it that much. Oh, by the way, remember when I broke when I broke those, um, that Brazilian nut? That's a spider. Or something. Wait, shh, hold on. I thought I heard some funky crap over there. Okay. Anywho, um, yeah, that that um that Brazilian nut. Uh, I remember I got the seeds out of it. Well, when I ate the seeds, they gave me like thirty something fats. I couldn't believe it. Those are those are like the best fat things in the world. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be you guys. Crafting those anyway. Isn't that the thing I needed to um, put down to get the sticks? The tree that you can break up for sticks? Or am I... Mm, I might be misremembering, but I'm probably going to want to plant that tree. I'm pretty sure that's why you get the sticks. And if it drops the Brazilian nuts, too, then all the better, right? Alright, so we need 51... Uh, 27. So we need to just start heading south at this point. Man, it is wonderful to be home. Let's go ahead and solidify this awesome journey with a save. Hells to the freaking yeah. All right, let's go check our... um. Oh, before we go check our crops, let's go ahead and fill up this bad boy. All right. 100 units of water. Yeah, boy. Are we hungry or thirsty in any way? Eh, we could eat a banana and a, one of these. 
There we go. And do, we could do it some fats as well. You know, before we do the fats, let's do the Brazilian. Let's go look for a Brazilian nut really quick. Uh, my banana trees do look like they are grown. Uh, hold Q to plow. Okay, so I guess that's if you want to, like, change up what you're doing. So what's that? Is that, like, thing when it's, like, going to grow bananas? Yeah, I think that's when it's going to grow bananas. And this, um, I'm going to wait until it's done. I could probably chop that down now, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. Um, the fertilizer does seem to last a long time, which is nice. Oh, look at this. Got that unknown fruit. All right, let's go check the Brazilian nut tree. Brazilian nut tree. Yep, there it is right there. Same freaking spot, too. Cool. And then let's go ahead and break that sucker open. And look at our fats. This is actually probably a waste of fats, like food, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, it tells you right there. I don't have to eat it. 35 freaking fats. Can you believe that? I'm going to hold on to that. I'm not going to eat that right away. I'll eat these. How long do those nuts last for? Uh, oh, only a day, day and a half, roughly. Um, no, actually, it's two days. Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking 30 minutes as far as like an hour, but no, it's 23 hours. So that's basically two days. Wow, that's unfreaking believably good. That's all the fats I'm probably going to need. Like, I think my fats are done. My protein is done. Everything, all my food and stuff is good to go. No doubt about it. No freaking doubt. All right, cool. Uh, do you want to put down some more? So, oh, you know what I wanted to look into? Uh, the Brazil Is this a Brazilian nut tree? Is this going to drop? Yeah, this is a Brazilian nut tree. That's that's definitely what this is. Large planting box. Hold the plow. I don't remember what I, what I planted exactly, but I know it was a Brazilian nut because I remember breaking it open. I had three and then I had two, so that's got to be it. So I'm thinking when that's done, it's going to drop a Brazilian nut. We'll just have to see. We will have to see what we see. Um, yep, I got those done. Okay, good. Let's come over here. Let's break into this sucker. And there we go. Freaking charcoal for days. Take max. Take the... Yep, there we go. Campfire ash. Three campfire ash. Yeah, that thing's dope. That thing is freaking dope. Um, I think we got to start building. I think we got to start building next episode. It's good. This game's grindy as hell when you start building. So the building might go pretty slow. But like I said last episode, I'm thinking I want my, the front door of my base to be right about here. And then I'm thinking I'm going to make a little spot, a little open spot here. And this will be like more. What up here? You know what? This is what I'll do. I'll put it down right now so you can see what I'm thinking about. I don't know if this is going to stay down, but this is kind of what I'm looking at at this point. Alright, so I'm thinking like, like right here, and then, damn it, why doesn't the ghost image stay up there? And then right there, and then right here. Okay, so I'm thinking that's going to be the farm. I could walk between them. I might move these down a little bit. I might, you know what, I probably will. Uh, but yeah, I want to leave a room to walk in between. So I'll probably move these down a little bit farther that way. Uh, but yeah, I want to leave a room to walk in between. And then I'll probably... Uh, that'll probably be it for the farm. Maybe one more row. And then right here will be a back door to my base. Right? I might actually leave all this open. Maybe I'll... Maybe, maybe I'll... Yeah, this could be like an open area where I keep all my stick holders and everything. And then I could leave this open. This whole part open. And maybe even have these farm plots keep going down this way. I don't know. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of spitballing here. Anyway, either way, this will be a back door into my base. And this will be the base. I don't know how far I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to go with it. I don't know what slope. Uh you see how this you see how the ground slopes down like that? I don't know when I won't be able to build anymore as far as slopes go. Um now I'm gonna be able to build right now, but if these things were connected, I think that slope would cause an issue. Although I don't know. Like I said, I haven't built in this game in quite a while, so maybe things have changed. Yeah, but that's what I'm looking at, guys. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos and subscriptions mean more than ever on YouTube. If you guys really want my channel to succeed um, and if you enjoy what I do, please think about subscribing. That would be awesome. And, um, you know, if, you, if this isn't the video you're going to subscribe on, I'm going to get you next time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.